So you were using integrated graphics before but when you installed a new graphics card in your PC, it is not showing any display. Today we're going to show you how to fix this problem. Everything you need to know, coming up. So let me get straight to the point. The first thing you need to do is to remove your PC from any wall outlet and power drain your PC by pressing the power button while it is unplugged. Install the new graphics card in your PC, then remove the CMOS battery for 5 minutes, then place it back again afterwards. This will reset your BIOS and hopefully this time your motherboard will detect the graphics card as the main display instead of the integrated graphics. Now plug the HDMI, display port or whatever cable you are using in the GPU port and not in the motherboard monitor input. Plug your PC back in a wall outlet then power your PC back on. At this point, your monitor should be showing display but if not, let's try another method. Now I want you to remove the graphics card in your PC then plug the HDMI or display port in your motherboard monitor input or port. Now start your PC normally and in Windows Desktop right click the start button and choose device manager. Look for the display adapters, right click whatever graphics driver you have and choose uninstall. If you're using Intel CPU, you should see Intel HD graphics. If you're using AMD, you should see Vega graphics. Now I want you to check the box, delete driver software for the device, then click uninstall. After uninstalling the driver, you will be asked to restart your PC. Just ignore that and shut down your PC normally. Unplug your PC from any wall outlet and then again power drain your PC by pressing the power button on while it is unplugged. Then install your GPU in the PC, then plug the HDMI or display port in the GPU port or GPU monitor input. Plug your PC in any wall outlet again and simply turn your PC back on. Your monitor should be showing display by this time, but if still doesn't show any display then your PC might be having a RAM problem. To fix this, just check out the card at the top right side corner of your screen. If you got any more questions, just write them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them all. So that's it guys, this is Mac and I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If it does, give us a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.